Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MathTube and today we bring the exam preparation series specially designed for the second year engineering students in TU affiliated colleges and this is lesson number 5 and from this lesson it's like extra important and it, they regularly ask this kind of question to find the harmonic conjugate or in other words in an analytic function u will be given and they will ask you to find the value of v but before we start as always make sure you read these points so here we go one two three and four so please read them and put them into practice so we will start with lesson number five okay so the question is find the harmonic conjugate so look at this in the second lesson where we discussed all the theory and in the third lesson when we started with analytic functions we learned that if a function is analytic then both u and v will satisfy the Laplace's equation that means the second order partial derivatives with respect to x and y added together will produce zero so read the question they have given u is equal to y cube minus 3 x square into y and you're supposed to prove that it is harmonic and also find the harmonic conjugate that means you have to find v in such a way that u plus iv becomes analytic see and hence find the function itself so I'll keep the question on the right side of the screen and let's start with u so prove that the function is harmonic and if you want to prove a function is harmonic you should find the second order partial derivative with respect to x as well as y so ux ux means we are going to differentiate partially with respect to x that means you assume x is the only variable so this will be 0 and this part will be like 3 y is a constant so multiplied by 2x okay so that is minus 6xy now uy and what do you mean by uy uy means we differentiate u by treating y as the only variable so the derivative will be 3y square and this part will be 3x square into 1 so uxx that will be minus 6y and uyy will be plus 6y because this part will disappear so add them up that's zero and if you want in the classic notation the second order partial derivatives added gives you zero and what does it mean the given function that is u is harmonic so that's it our function is harmonic now look at the second part find its harmonic conjugate so harmonic conjugate means if u is given you have to find v in such a way that u plus iv will be an analytic function or in other words the CR equations will be satisfied by this function and sometimes they may give you v so if v is given you have to find u so that u plus iv will be analytic so let v be the required harmonic conjugate then what does it mean it means u plus iv is analytic and if it is analytic in the theory when we learned the theory and definitions in lesson number two we saw that the derivative is ux plus ivx i'll strongly recommend please go through lesson number two it's a bit boring because we are learning the definitions there obviously boring but you have to learn the definitions and in the beginning of lesson number three we again deal with the CR equations etc etc so make sure you go through those lessons anyway 
the derivative of this function the derivative of the required function is ux plus ivx but you are given u you are not given v that means we have to apply CR equations you remember CR equations ux is equal to vy and uy equal to minus vx so that means vx can be replaced with minus uy so in the next step this will change into ux minus i u and you have to write by using cr equations i'll repeat once more this is the formula for derivative and you can find ux because u is given but you can never find vx because we are trying to find v we don't know v so using cr equations you write everything in terms of u okay and we have the partial derivatives we calculated them earlier itself so ux is minus 6xy if you want you can calculate once more and uy means that will be 3y square minus 3x square okay now in lesson number three we discussed something very very important that's called the mill thompson method uh, you can check this function this is a function in z but it is given in terms of x and y and when you use mill thompson method you can write or you can express the function in terms of z itself and it's very easy put x is equal to z and make y is equal to zero that's it wow in one step we have the function anyway something into zero will be zero so the function is 3i z square so it's better that you write using mill thompson method okay so now look at this they asked you to find the analytic function but we found the derivative of the analytic function now think for a minute if you know the derivative how will you find the function think about it you know the derivative you want f but sadly you know f dash so how can we extract f okay it's so simple integrate so i'm going to write integrating both sides with respect to z okay so f dash integrated gives you f z and this is a constant so the integral will be okay so let's cancel these things okay so we have the analytic function okay now you have to find the harmonic conjugate okay that's really easy you can try it yourself we already tried it in lesson number three lesson number four anyway i'll give you a hint so you just call this as u plus i v and said as x plus i y so you can expand and then you can collect the real parts and the imaginary parts and v of course will be the imaginary part anyway i want you to comment the value of v in the comment box below so try it now itself okay now let's try another question so that was recently asked from your past papers and the question is like define harmonic function okay the definitions are in lesson number two and three and the second question is v equal to argument of said harmonic if s find the corresponding harmonic conjugate okay well so let's start so we have been asked what's the harmonic function so a function with second order partial derivatives added together gives you zero now the first thing let's set equal to x plus i y and i hope you remember the argument of a complex number is tan inverse y by x okay now we have to check whether this function is harmonic or not okay before we start what is the derivative of tan inverse x yeah that will be 1 by 1 plus x square and tan inverse something differentiated gives you 1 by 1 plus that quantity the whole square okay now one more thing how do you differentiate 5 by x before that 
the derivative of 1 by x is minus 1 by x square. So, 5 by x means 5 into 1 by x and once you differentiate 5 into 1 by x, we get 5 into minus 1 by x square or rather that is minus 5 by x square. So, what about 10 by x? Okay, that will be minus 10 by x square. What will be some constant by x? That's easy. That will be minus c by x square. Okay, now take a look at this. Suppose you want to differentiate x by 5. It's not 5 by x. x by 5. That is actually 1 by 5 into x. And the derivative of x is 1. So, differentiating this quantity, we get 1 by 5. Okay, now let's proceed. So, Vx. So, what do you mean by Vx? The partial derivative of V with respect to x. So, tan inverse something. So, here we go. That is 1 by 1 plus y square by x square. Times, what is the derivative of y by x? Yeah. When you differentiate with respect to x, it looks like something 5 by x. It looks like 5 by x. So, the derivative will be minus y by x square. Then take LCM, flip it, simplify. Okay, we get vx equal to minus y by x square plus y square. Okay, now we go for Vy. <coughs> and before that, let's go for the second order derivative. So, Vx can be written as minus y into 1 by something. But 1 by something, the derivative is minus 1 by same thing square. So, Vxx means differentiating Vx again with respect to x and that will be minus y into minus 1 by same thing square into 2x and that will give you 2xy by x square plus y square the whole square okay i'll keep that here okay once more now let's differentiate with respect to y so vy as before tan inverse something the derivative is 1 by 1 plus something square and the derivative of y by x the derivative of y by x with respect to y that is 1 by x take lcm flip it a little bit simplify and you get x by x square plus y square and let's differentiate it once more with respect to y so this is a constant and 1 by something will give you minus 1 by same thing square into 2y. Okay, now let's add them up. It's obvious. It's zero. And if you want in this notation, so what does it mean? It simply means v is a harmonic function. Okay, now read the question once more. If s, yeah, it is an s. It is harmonic. Find the corresponding harmonic conjugate. So, what do you mean by harmonic conjugate? If V is harmonic, then you have to find U in such a way that U plus IV is analytic. So, let F equal to U plus IV be analytic. And we have the first order derivatives here. And from the definition, the derivative of f will be ux plus ivx. But take a look at the question. v is given not u. So it express everything in terms of v using CR equation. Because the function is analytic means they will satisfy the CR equations. That means ux will be equal to vy and uy will be equal to minus vx. So the value of ux that will change into vy so we get vy plus ivx and we already found all these things okay now tell me what's the next step 
in the next step we want to express f dash z in terms of z we don't want this x and y and if you want to do that mill thomson method is the best method and what does mill thomson method tell you replace x with z and y with the value 0 that's it we have the function and that will be 1 by z ok now we have a big problem we tried to find f but we ended up finding f dash yeah we can solve it if f dash is given then how do you find f symbol integrating so I'm going to write integrating both sides with respect to z and that means this integrated gives you fz and 1 by z is ln z or log z and now I wanted to read the question find the harmonic conjugate so the question tells you find u not the function previously it was like find the function and then find the harmonic conjugate so we have to find the value of u ok that's easy I know it's easy for you you just call it u plus iv and this is log so put it in the form r e power i theta and then the usual steps log a into b is log a plus log b and log a to the power b will be b log a and finally log e is equal to 1 so u is equal to log r and v is equal to theta okay but what is the value of r r is root under x square plus y square i'll strongly recommend please check lesson number two and the beginning of lesson number three for the definitions okay anyway r is equal to root under x square plus y square the modulus and theta is actually tan inverse y by x so replacing we get u and v so that's it v u equal to ro log root under x square plus y square and that is a required harmonic conjugate so that's it i'll be back with another video very soon in which we'll do more problems based on finding the harmonic conjugate so as always if you find the video useful like share and subscribe so we'll meet again so till then bye